Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Bullying Design Group's presented Da Vinci Unified Training Videos. Today we'll be talking about rate tariffs. Today we'll show you how to create rate tariffs to auto-calculate a cost for shipments and manage table details. Before we continue, be sure to take a look at some of these previous videos. With DaVinci, you can create an unlimited list of price matrix, and you can assign a price matrix to a customer. You may have a small pricing for a new small customer, or discounted pricing for small customers that you do repeat business with, or even discounted pricing for large customers that you do repeat business with. Now to do so, we must navigate to rate tariffs found in transportation, and we click the insert button to begin. When you consider pricing, distance, weight, and how fragile the product is, you may have special tariffs for highly fragile products, and DaVinci offers many types for different scenarios. We'll start simple with CPM, otherwise known as cost per mile, where the mileage would be calculated and multiplied by the CPM. In order to calculate the mileage, you will need an integration with a mileage calculation tool. Feel free to contact our support to discuss the various options that DaVinci supports. After selecting our type, we then write a description. Below that, you may recognize these columns where you can apply charge codes and FSC. From there, you can apply the CPM for the tariff. Continuing on, DaVinci gives you the option to select when payment is provided for the driver, recorded in stops, and when to bill the shipper. Below that, you can automatically calculate the driver's split pay and determine how that will be processed, either by flat rate, percentage of bill of freight, or flat rate per mile. Notice that there is no table available for this CPM tariff. It is simply an amount multiplied by the distance. We will dive into table details in this next example of rate tariffs. The most common rate tariffs are table based. The tariff we'll select now is zip to zip, which is basically origin to destination. To demonstrate that in the table, we begin with the origin zip code and then provide the end destination zip code. Along with the max weight, the minimum charge, the driver's pay, and the rate. DaVinci also gives you the option to handle tariffs by city to city. This may be easier with cities that contain multiple zip codes. Sometimes, it isn't a simple rate from A to B. For example, you may want to have a tariff that is A to B based on weight. This could be the tariffs with CWT. CWT stands for 100th weight. So a shipment that was 23,000 pounds is actually 230 CWT. Just take the weight and divide by 100. Here's what a table for a CWT tariff may look like. Using the CWT table, this would be 230 times the rate, if the shipment was 23,000 pounds. The last few columns on the table are for class of the freight. The higher the class, the more fragile the product. 
So a CWT tariff with freight classes would look like this. One last thing I'd like to show you is how these rate tariffs are applied in shipments. We open a new shipment and begin to fill in our details as we've done before. When entering the addresses, be sure that the information matches that of the rate tariff you have set up. After entering the details and applying commodities, we can return to the general page where at the bottom, under service class, we can select our rate tariff and from there, we can see our profit and how it is affected. And that's all for our lesson in rate tariffs today. Be sure to check back with us for more videos on how to use DaVinci Unified. And if you have further questions or would like to set up a training session, feel free to contact our support. Or check out our detailed documentation online. Thanks for watching.